Welcome everybody to your class in uh, social inequalities. Uh, I'm Dr. Michael Spivey. Uh, usually I'll, I'll write a short introduction. I thought I'd just make a, another video for you uh, to introduce myself. Um, I'll be your instructor this semester and well this semester this summer session and uh, I look forward to our time together. I think this will be an insightful course for you. Uh, a lot of uh, interesting um, points and knowledge that maybe you've never been exposed to that you will be able to learn about during this semester. And uh, I, you know, I, I, uh, I really enjoy talking about social inequalities. I have a background, one of my specialties is in the area of race and ethnicity. And uh, did my dissertation on, uh, on the um, recognition efforts of a South Carolina tribe, the PD, uh, back in the early 90s, 1990s, and uh, uh, have, have had a long, uh, I've had a lot of classwork at the graduate level in issues of race and ethnicity, and uh, so what I'd, I like to do with my social inequalities class, excuse me, is to take that perspective as a prism through which to look at all forms of social inequality. So we'll, we'll be looking at some generic, for example, very general theories about social inequality that can be applied to various uh, groups, various uh, uh, situations where, uh, where we find social inequality. Uh, I take this prism, I think it's an important one, and through the prism of race and ethnicity, uh, we'll be looking at uh, 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 related intersecting uh, issues such as uh, class, and gender inequalities. And uh, they're complicated by these other race and ethnicity, class and gender are intersecting uh, areas of social inequalities. And they can be combined in various ways and uh, uh, paints a more uh, complex picture of social inequality, if you will, than, than to divide these up, which they used to be in the past. Uh, classes were divided along you know, may, may talk about race, may deal with class, a social stratification course may simply deal with class. Then you may have had a class uh, dealing with gender. In this class, we bring them all together because they're all structural variables in terms of social inequality, not only in our society, but in other societies as well. Uh, so uh, one of the main uh, and, and I love the textbook we're using. One of the main uh, themes of that textbook is a development of a general theory of social inequality that can be applied to many, many cases, not only in our own society, uh, but across uh, globally. Uh, we can see these same social patterns, if you will, developing. And uh, so I think that you'll... You, by studying these uh, analytical tools provided in the Healy text will give you a foundation in this, into the study of social inequalities that can be utilized in other classes on other topics. Uh, so you've got that, plus we have our, our reader, and it's a very timely reader, and we have some very uh, interesting and provocative articles as well as uh, videos that are timely in dealing with uh, this topic that I think you'll find interesting. Uh, I'm originally from South Carolina and uh, grew up in not far from Pembroke, about 25 miles. And uh, in later life, I, uh, uh, I ended up in Michigan at Central Michigan University and uh, did my, I did my, uh, my BS degree and MA degree in uh, sociology at Central Michigan University. And uh, then I went on to study for my doctorate at York University in Toronto, Canada. So I, I went to Canada to do my do doctoral studies in, in a wonderful city, Toronto, a, a mosaic of um, diversity of peoples that live in Toronto. It's, it's, it's known as the most diverse uh, city in, in the Western Hemisphere. And a very cutting edge, very modern. Uh, and uh, so not only did I learn from the classroom, I also learned about um, issues of multiculturalism 
and watching people from all over the world live together in this in this one city it was amazing. Both both uh, many many positive uh, aspects, but also uh, also negative as well. I mean, anytime you have people all together from the various cultures, you're going to have culture conflict. And then there's always uh, interesting to study the ways in which they uh, work through government policy to overcome some of those uh, conflicts. So it was very it was a very interesting uh, time for me in terms of learning and studying race and ethnicity, social inequalities, uh, being in that city and being at that university. Uh, and then I left from there and came down to my hometown area in South Carolina to do my dissertation ethnographic study of the PD people. And uh, I, uh, I spent over a year there. And I also worked in Lumberton for that time. And also part-time, I was at the mental health in Lumberton and then part-time at, uh, at UNCP. I was a part-time instructor in the sociology department uh, in the uh, early 90s. And then after I finished, I, I taught for Central Michigan University back in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. And I taught for their off-campus sites down in Detroit, Michigan. So th uh, that was another great learning uh, curve for me in terms of race and class and uh, gender was being in these uh, very diverse classrooms made up mostly of people from the big three auto industry and uh, just had a really uh, a real learning time about many issues uh, dealing with race and ethnicity. Uh, so I'm glad to be here with you and uh, I think you'll enjoy the format. I've had an email or two of students already saying that they enjoyed the uh, the visual um, lecture lecturettes on on the video, and I enjoy doing those. And I'm glad to provide them for you. And uh, so, anytime you have a question about the material, please write to me, email me, and I'm, I'll be more than happy to clarify any concepts or theories that you're confused about, or any questions at all dealing with the class. Just shoot me an email, and I'm very happy to uh, to work with you. Think of it as all as our office hours together. Since we can't be together on campus, uh, just think of it as our office hours by sending me an email and talking with you. I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, so go ahead and start your first weeks. So I've given you out your studies for the first week, and uh, we'll be working through that next second week, and then we'll have that first exam. One way to think about it is that the first. Uh, Five chapters in the textbook are theoretical. Uh, Healy's building his theoretical model. And uh, so each chapter he's building on uh, like a scaffold. He's building his building blocks towards his um, general theory of, about social inequality. Uh, and uh, then after that, starting with chapter six, we start applying those concepts, those theories, to the case studies. And uh, so you have... Uh, you have a number of case studies of various uh, minority groups in the United States and seeing how these ideas can apply for each of those and so that we can make comparisons uh, comparisons cross-culturally and through time. And uh, so I think you'll gain a lot of insight uh, from studying this textbook. It can tell you a lot about what's going on in contemporary times. So that's why that's the reason for the paper. You know, of course, it can be historical. Uh, you can read your instructions about the paper online, but it can also be contemporary. Uh, some students like to look at, take these same concepts and look at local issues within their own community, for example, and write a paper on that. Uh, so, you know, start thinking about what the kind of topic you would be interested in writing about and then shoot me an email with your topic or topics. It may be more than one, maybe a couple, and I'll help you narrow that down and approve your topic and get you going so don't uh, don't don't hesitate don't feel uh, shy if you don't know what you want to write about most students don't and uh, if you've got a few ideas shoot, shoot them all to me and I'll try to narrow it down for you which one I think would uh, maybe be a good topic for this for this class for you today all right everybody so enjoy yourself uh, you know we just moved uh, a month I go from Pembroke area down here to Wilmington. It's really been an enjoyable time being here. Uh, so, so, so many things to do. And I've kind of got a red veneer to my face because uh, I've been out at the Oak Island for, for a few days. And uh, it's been really in, enjoyable. 
But uh, I'll, I'll still be at Pembroke and, and teaching right on it at UNCP. I'll be just driving back and forth. All right, everybody. Uh, nice talking to you, and uh, I'll see you again on the videos. And again, shoot me an email if you need anything or if you want to talk about uh, the class or or some, some more study tips, for example, or some concepts you'd like more clarification on. Just, just let me know. All right. So you guys have a great weekend coming up. See you then.